Welcome back to Nuclear Shortcuts. I'm your host, Adam Dudley, and our topic today is what is product security and how to build a roadmap for success. So today's expert on the topic is Anshuman. Uh, he is an information security professional of over a decade. Um, he's currently a principal security engineer at 30 Madison, which is a healthcare company. Uh, and he's worked for some pretty big names, uh, Atlassian, Intuit, uh, and Dell as well. And this is his first time on the show. So. I've been in this industry for about 13, 14 years now, and I've worked in both uh, big uh, enterprises and smaller companies as well. Um, application and product security is something that I've, I've been doing pretty much all my career. Um, and over the years, uh, I've also had the opportunity to uh, look into other domains like infrastructure security, automation, uh, incident response. So I, I feel very fortunate uh, to have those op opportunities during my career. And, you know, I believe in giving back to the community. I've open sourced a few tools, security tools, and I really believe in innovation and solving some challenging security problems uh, using mm -hmm. some of the new technologies and automation. Could you give us just a um, a very brief definition, you know, how do you define product security? What does that look like in today's modern enterprise? Product security, you can think of it, uh, it's like a function within an organization um, that allows, uh, you know, you to establish processes, activities, like set up tooling, uh, security scanners, whatnot, to ensure that the customer data, uh, data or information that the company's products either store, process, or transfer is uh, protected against unauthorized access by malicious actors. Like right? That's a very high-level overview of how you can think about it. Uh, product security can... Uh, you know, contain things like application security, which is more focused on just applications. But I know folks use both the terms interchangeably. Securing applications is one thing, but then how do you deploy those applications on the cloud infrastructure? Like these days, it's, it's, it's all about cloud, right? Like right, right. AWS, Google Cloud, Azure, right? So uh, apart from securing the application, uh, you know, the deployment piece also, I believe, falls under product security. Okay. Because uh, you want to make sure the product is secure from the point where it's committed, like when the code gets committed to the point right. where it's actually deployed, so the entire life cycle. So getting into the meat of our topic and the article I read on your blog that inspired me to invite you here to Shortcuts is you wrote an article about a product security roadmap. And I learned a lot in that article. And so, uh -huh. you know, first of all, why does this matter? you know, in the context of having a successful product security program. As in when, you know, you join, um, you know, like the first product security engineer, uh, you're onboarded onto an organization, you have different stakeholders that you're supposed to work with, right? These yeah. might be your uh, VPs of different engineering organizations. These might be your uh, EMs, right, supporting different smaller teams, engineering teams. So it's really important as a founding product security engineer to have your stakeholders come to a shared understanding of what the risks are that your organization faces and what as a product security engineer you're supposed, you're planning to do to address them and in what order, right? So A, uh, making sure everybody is speaking the same language when it comes to the risk yeah. um, and, and then B, making sure uh, there's like a good understanding of how to address it and how to prioritize what. So now in broad strokes, how does one go about building a product security roadmap? I think of the overall product security function being broadly divided into three major categories. Uh, mm -hmm. First one is vulnerability management or mm -hmm. how do you deal with vulnerabilities that you discover. Right. Second is security partnerships or in other words, you know, how, how do you make sure you are working with your engineering counterparts and uh, integrating security in the SDLC. So those kind of relationships, partnerships, there are different activities, projects you can do underneath that. So that all falls under this. And the third is uh, security tooling and operations. This basically contains, you know, uh, deploying your scanners, uh, making sure, you know, any programs that you run, uh, uh, you are collecting valuable data from them to make sure that you make continual, uh, continuous right. progress, things of that nature. Um, and so, like I said, each of these categories will have a bunch of activities, projects that you could be doing underneath them. It's really important to highlight that uh, 
you can't be doing everything together at once you know so you should really be sure. thinking about splitting the o- overall roadmap into a multi year plan can be a three year plan can be a five year plan really depends on the resources and the priorities sure. and uh, and this roadmap the way you divide it it's really about working on smaller tactical projects in a prioritized order which eventually contributes towards a overall strategic roadmap of how you go about improving the security posture of the organization got it got it so you mentioned three buckets there you have your vm security partnerships and security tooling and yeah. uh, for me what came up also is you know i think contained in all those buckets is the classic people process and technology right yeah, kind of have exactly. those areas of concerns. Um, and then once you have that roadmap, then you're building out those tactical projects uh, and prioritizing them to make sure you're making progress on the longer term roadmap, right? Right. Yes, exactly. Now, in your article, you called these uh, work streams, I think, which yeah. I kind of I like that word. Um, you know, you hear yeah. workflows a lot, work streams I, I like. And that's yeah. an interesting way to break out, I guess, categories of work. Yeah, like if if you think about it in other words, right? Like again, uh, based on my experience, um, the the places where I've heard work stream being used is so. So let's say uh, there's there's a big project, right? That that your company is undertaking and mm-hmm. it impacts pretty much all the organizations within that, right? So can be HR, can be legal, can be engineering, can be advertising, sales, marketing, whatever, right? So right. really what you need is a team of individuals that represent each one of these functions, right? And they're working towards this project. So you can think of it like a work stream where you don't necessarily have the entire teams working with you, but you have yeah. individuals representing those teams. So I think, yeah, WorkStream is, is a good way to sort of make make that sense. Uh, before we wrap up, Anshuman, would you please tell people where they can go to check out your blog and learn more about the stuff you're writing about? Yeah, sure thing. Uh, you can uh, check out my blog on anshumanbhartia.com. That's just my first name, last name, dot .com. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter. I'm uh, available at Anshuman underscore BH. Uh, yeah, and you know Great. you can feel free to email me. I'm more than happy to collaborate, share ideas. Great. Well, we'll link to the article that inspired this uh, this episode so people can take a look at that. And I just want you to uh, thank you for coming on uh, today. I know you're a very busy guy in the security world. Um, this is excellent. And um, you know, the, the last thing I want to ask, like in your view, is there one most important thing you'd like folks to walk away with from this conversation? Yeah, sure thing. So I think, you know, since we are talking about like uh, product security and how to get started and how to build a program, I think not getting overwhelmed and being able to ruthlessly prioritize. I, I, I like yeah. that word, ruthless prioritization. And then bringing along everybody else with you on the journey, like all your st- uh, stakeholders, is probably the most important important thing you can be doing in order to be successful at it, right? And then just being very thoughtful about what to do and when and how to uh, leverage smaller wins in improving the o- overall security strategy and, and the culture that goes a long way. So that would be my right. recommendation. Yeah. Thank you. And I love that phrase, ruthless prioritization. I'm going to call that the, the phrase of the episode here. Um, yeah. You have to do it, right? Because there's there's always the demand to do more with less. And um, we need to make real progress. See you again soon on the next Nucleus Shortcuts. Thanks, Anshuman. Sounds good, Aaron. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.